I'm not really sure if I want to go up these ascension rankings. That'd be a little spooky. I'm gonna keep being boring. Well, what have I not used? I haven't used the Boom Blaster at all. I'll try this. Yeah, I don't I don't really know if I want to do high end uh so my main issue is stun. There's the repeater if I wanted to go for it. Repeater was good. But not this time. Let's let's just push boom blaster to the limit. Maybe. M my biggest issue with uh ascension is I just I find I get frustrated and I don't have as much fun. Let's see, ability slow. 50% slow. Lasts for three seconds. Decent AoE. That's okay. Melter was good. Does a decent damage. Reduces armor. Or we could go for A wall. You know what? Let's go slow. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure what my pool looks like. A lot of AoE here. And there's the Disruptor, which we know for a fact is actually really good. It's a lot more than I wanted immediately. Oh. I guess I'm just gonna have the boombox hang out there and just do tons of damage. Uh, let's see. Absolutely choice overload. Always. Let's see. Will this be a series? Yeah. At least for a little while. I'm gonna keep just pumping boom blaster damage. I should probably focus on my, my slow abilities and some other stuff. Let's see, higher chance of modules. Tempting. The main problem is I don't get to use my slow. Yeah, the rounds are too long. Well, this is just silly. I'm not a fan of Ascension. It's really more interesting, and interesting is your fun. Yeah, that's where I'm at. It's like, I really wanted to like Ascension in Slay the Spire, and I think that sort of thing can work. But from my general experience, it's one of those where it's like, it works for the first couple of games that start adding Ascension rankings, and then after a certain point, it's... It becomes onerous? Trying to get through it. Let's see. Okay, we don't have any healing immediately. And so, yeah, doing some of the ascension in... Let's see, do we want any of this? I guess I'll get that. I wonder if I can actually... spec into... skipping. I want to try and do... oof. I'm not actually really liking this run. Here, uh... I like the idea of the Boom Blaster, but I, I don't have a good mainline, and I am I feel like I'm already immediately stuck here. Nah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's just asc Ascension Rankings rarely add anything new. I prefer unlock systems like Isaac, where you unlock the new content, but it's not the same content, but harder. It's actually something new. 
Oh, we need keep keep cool so I can actually use the uh the frost, otherwise it's pointless. Yeah, I'm gonna need wall stuff. I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon this one. It it's not doing what I wanna do. Okay. Start with the repeater. That seems worthwhile. And the disruptor. Uh let's try going up this time. There we go. I'm not a big fan of the disruptor. It doesn't really help too much. It just feels like a kind of necessary upgrade instead of actually something amazing. Uh but that's okay. Yeah, let's just try these two. I'm really curious if I can get this guy to be obscene. It was pretty good the last time we did this, but I want it to be more ridiculous. So does it get 0.1 attack speed every time it kills something? No. It looks like it's maybe half that. I am a one-trick pony. Sudden urge to play Revenge of the Titans. I remember playing that back in the day, and it was incredibly hard. I loved the idea of it, but it was so hard it was almost not worth my time. Ascension rankings mostly remove things and force you into particular playstyles. And I can see why that's fun for some people, because it's a challenge. For me, it... Ooh, yeah, we gotta go nanobots. For me, the biggest problem is... I don't really enjoy that much of a challenge. I like coming up with new strats, because that's fun. I don't like just saying, alright, so what kind of frustrating thing am I, am I going to have to like work around every time I go up a ranking? Uh, so I know in uh, Monster Train, the higher I went up in the Covenant rankings, it was like, yeah, let's go with this. Roll the dice? Yeah, I want that reroll. Uh, it would like add more spam cards or like more just basic starting trash. And I feel like it's, it, Ascension Rankings should make it harder, but give you even more options and potential, so you want to go up there. Uh, let's see, damage bonus. Let's go keep cool. That way, if I pick up an ability, I can work with that. Let's see, they had an easy campaign that's supposed to be easier. They added it later. Huh. Well, maybe I'll do an indie lightning round on it at some point. know if I want... I'll grab auto shields just because it'll keep the damage off and it builds up slowly. Okay, I don't think I need any of these. Reach and repeater damage. Very similar to the last run. I'm really curious if I can actually just... utilize just these towers? I probably could. I'd probably still want to slow. Let's see. Whoops. Okay. Next run, though, pure pacifism. I want to see if we can just heal through the damage and not kill a dang thing. Because I think that could be really amusing. Ah, uh, these are boring. I don't really want the Lightning Tower either. Lightning Tower is very good ag against small trash enemies. Not particularly good if I'm using the Repeater Tower. Nope. There's the freezer. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. We need, we need some more walls. I just don't want to invest in it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, freezer slow duration. That's actually really helpful. And yeah, I can increase its range a lot. Hard for hard's sake does nothing for me. Give me complexity any day, any day. Angel Bob Factorio for life. Yeah. Something from nothing. Extra wall if I skip a reward. I'm not going to be skipping much, though. Uh, 
So you recently found your Echo playthrough. Thanks for beating it so I can see it. That game is not very accessible to those with disabilities like me. I can understand that. That was a fun game, but very rough. Now let's keep investing in Reach, at least for a little while. Wow, that was fast. I might have to just pick up some walls. Let's see, choice overload. Even one more choice. Boy, howdy. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Auto shields, nanobots, hardened core, quicken. I guess quicken. And I'm gonna get one wall. I hate to do this. Okay. Decent amount of damage. We don't want less is more. That's a mistake waiting to happen. I don't need more range right now. So I guess I'll just invest in this thing's damage. What I really want is the masonry upgrade. That said, freezer slow duration would be hilarious as well. I'm really curious if you can get it up to 100%. Let's see. Just absolutely stop them in their tracks. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just do repeater damage there. So you're legally blind. So your eyes do not adjust well to whole... Oh, the whole light's turning off and one. Kept losing your place. Oh, dude, that's brutal. Well, I'm glad I could help out. Uh, let's see. We don't need the, need the healer. I guess I'm just going to keep investing in... Repeater damage. Get that up nice and high. What is the attack speed on this thing? 3.71. So it's actually not that much faster than it was the last time. Oh, you absolute jerks. Well, that's why I have the extra shields, but that's just mean. I really want the masonry upgrade. One wall here might not be a bad idea, too. Force them away from my core so they don't shoot me. Okay. Explosive ability? No, I... It's not really giving me anything interesting here. And maybe part of it is just because there's actually not that many tower types in this game. Which, I... Uh, hopefully we unlock some more. Yeah, I'll just get that up to 25. Hoarder, same upgrade, 25 times. I'll have to see what the un unlock system is, see what we get. Because I haven't seen any new unlocks in a little while, but I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that I haven't been looking. Uh, let's see, let's keep investing in disruptor range. Because unfortunately, there's no disruption duration, and I know the enemies will slowly drop it. Man, they really are not giving me what I'm looking for. 
I'll pick up one something from nothing. Let's see. Wow, that slows hitting them all the way out here. Probably why I don't want to invest in it too much. Okay. Quicken nanobots, refined, hardened core. Quicken's, like, kind of tempting. I don't really need to take a break. Less is more auto shields, quicken, hardened core, nanobots. Mm. Ah, let's keep waiting. Yeah, I'm just kind of hoping we get something. I'm not seeing any more damage upgrades for that, so that might actually be capped out, which is bad. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna have Madcap Disruptor range. That'll either get us to the end, or we're just going to die somewhere in between. Luckily, oh, but we do lose the, uh... Hey, there's Masonry, finally. Took it forever. Okay, it's kind of working. Uh, let's see, let's keep going walls for a second. Yeah, so I don't think I can increase that thing's damage any, any more than I have. Oops. Okay, there we go. That should be a little bit more immediate damage. I just need to get this thing a little bit more range. It'd be fun to grab the ion cannon. I think it might be a little late for it though. So what else do we have? I mean, I guess I could go frenzy. Yeah, let's start going frenzy again. Frenzy is really useful for the hard dudes that show up. And seeing as I've only got one tower, the moment it starts shooting, give it the frenzy, let it go go to town on things. Uh, let's see. Nothing exciting. Frenzy duration. Frenzy speed. Doesn't look like I can increase the slower mount any further than I already have. I don't suppose I really need to give this thing frenzy. It's just wrecking them. Let's see. All of these are kind of lame. Not gonna deny. I. I was hoping. I was hoping we get some more upgrades here. I honestly, I would like to see this game have a little bit of a meta progression that just gives you like slightly more options in the run and more like interesting upgrades like how cool would it be if you could actually mix and match or like apply a little bit of a special effect to some of these towers like a light explosive shot or chain lightning or slow bullet or uh, damage over time effect or just something Okay. Well, other option is get the hammer, start doing some damage. Yeah, let's pick up the hammer. It's not great, but it's a good backup. Stun might have been interesting, too. To invest in. There. Hammer should be help when it finishes things off.
There we go. Okay. More quicken? Sure. Frenzy speed? Sure. Oops, why do I keep taking that off? All right. This is working a little bit better. That does the trick. Okay. More quicken. These are boring, so we'll grab that. And we haven't taken any damage in a while. What's your attack speed at? 4.67. That's pretty good. Now it's at that. It doesn't say. Dang. I was kind of hoping I could see the live stats for that one. But is what it is. Okay, frenzy duration? Yes, please. Hammer speed? Yeah. Yeah, the hammer speed isn't as good as I think I would have liked. Thank you, Disruptor. Okay, there's the radiator. But honestly, not really using it particularly well here. Let's re-roll. Keep pushing that frenzy duration. The longer I can keep it going, the better. Ooh, and that Disruptor's actually got crazy range. That's... It's actually controlling much of the central field here. Yeah, Nova Drift's upgrade system actually would be definitely something to kind of look at for for a game like this. I would I would agree with that one. Cuz Nova Drift has some really goofy upgrades that you can get. I should uh I should go back to playing that at some point. I'm kind of at a loss for things to do, so going back and doing a Nova Drift series is not actually the worst idea in the world. Wait, I gotta go Frenzy Duration. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'd like to pick up the hammer upgrades, and there we go, but the longer I keep Frenzy going, uh, like if we're really lucky, I can just have Frenzy going for as long as the cooldown is. It doesn't matter, we're about to end this run, but it'd be fun to just have 100% uptime. Uh, let's see. Freezer slow duration? No. More quicken. It's like, it's good. But it didn't help too much. There we go. But yeah, it lasts, it lasts for a decent while. Not quite as long as I'd like it to be, but it's enough. These are boring. These are all real boring. I guess we'll just do freezer slow duration, not that it matters. And quicken. Yeah, this game needs some more higher end upgrades and abilities and like cool perks. Like double shot, split shot, splinter shot, bounce shot. Like modifiers that you can add to towers. It would go a long way to making this interesting. I'm just going to keep pushing the, the freezer slow duration for I don't even know reasons. Let's see, one of you considered Creeper World 2. I've been playing a lot of Creeper World 3. I don't know if I go back to 2. Let's see. There we go. Slow duration is worse than range. Honestly, both are completely useless to me at this point. I need to focus all of my perks and abilities right on this here. Everything else past that is kind of pointless to me. Hey, there's Sunbeam. Too late for it. But I would have gotten it instead of the hammer. This is a game that gave you more basic towers, and you could completely, entirely modify the behavior in Nova Drift way. That would be freaking rad. I, it's something I always have problems with. Wow, did we just melt the boss? We did. Hey, we got the Shuriken Tower, though. I'm not going to be able to get the next unlock. I'm going to be so close, but I don't actually get it, though. I'm going to get, uh... I'm going to get this. I'm going to go to up to Overload 1, at the very least.
grab the disruptor. Grab auto shields. Let's go disruptor range. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. We'll see how this goes. Wave clear. Uh, let's see, module of reach. Sure. Sure. Gonna suck a little bit. Hey, thank you, Shadow Sovereign, for the 500 bits. Thanks for a lot. Finishing your VOD of Dark Souls 3 and want to fire it up and replay. Time to get good again. I... I want to get good again. I just... I hate... I hate invaders. It just absolutely ruins things. For me. Okay. Keep cool? Sure. And I guess I'm gonna pick up heal. We're gonna need it. Oh wow, that's barely any healing. Well, I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, the reason why I grabbed the disruptor is so they don't shoot my core. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any good healing towers, which is rough. We might lose this one purely by merit of not getting anything useful. I was really hoping there'd be cooldowns for that. Rough. I don't have anything else. There it is. Okay, healer speed, yes. Nanobots, yes. Yeah, those bosses hurt. Silly enough, frenzy. Wicked. Okay. Let's see. Refine? No. Hardened core? Yeah. Probably. All the other ones would be lovely. <laughs> Bombs. Okay. Shield amount? Yeah. Healer speed? Yes. Oof. I need this to be a lot better than it is. I guess a little bit of amazing to give me more time. For she okay. Uh let's see, gotta go na nanobots. Wait on wait till the next one. Frenzy speed. Can't have too much of a choice. Extra healer healing. Alright, keep the core going. This is tricky. Oh, that's so close. Nope. 
That didn't work. Well, we got Sloth Hack. Whatever that does. 